their star receiver. Now, earlier in the day, our very own Kim Jones asked Giants GM Dave Gettleman that same question, and uh, we'll see if we got the answer we wanted to hear. Take a listen. With all due respect, it was John who opened some of this up by saying no one's untouchable when he was asked about Odell. So mm -hmm. what makes it so hard to say if you feel this way, Odell's part of our team, we want him on our team, end of story. He is. He's on our team. You, see, you know. And he will be on your team? Hey, listen, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, drop dead of a heart attack in two seconds. <laughs> you know, I hope not. You know what I'm Although I, I'm, I'm worth more alive than dead now for my wife. Mm -hmm. But anyhow, no, so all kidding aside, he's on the team, Kim. What do you want me to tell you? That he's not, that he's not available via trade. He's on the team right now. So he is available for you. I just said he's on the team. And you can't say whether you want him to continue to be on the team? or Listen, you don't quit on talent. I told you that. You don't quit on talent. All right, so Kim's saying that, you know, the Giants would have to be bowled over by an offer to even think about him. They're saying he's on the team right now. They want him to be a Giant. What does it mean? What does it mean, Nate? Listen, well, Gettleman jokes that he's worth more alive than dead, mm -hmm. which, you know, we all said that before. I say Odell is worth more on your roster than anywhere else. You can sit there and field as many offers as you want, but having Odell leave New York will be the worst decisions you guys had in a long time. This... This is all just fluff talk. It's just like what I talked about yesterday when your parents talk out loud just so they can hear you. And oftentimes, even as a child, you might feel rebellious, might get your little knapsack and your stick sure. and say, I'm running away. I'm out of here. But you're not going anywhere, and you don't want your child to go anywhere. <laughs> Odell's not going anywhere. And Giants, you don't want him to go anywhere. Listen, I feel like OBJ, he just feels like ODB. And what I mean by that, Giants, all you got to say is, hey, Odell, baby, I got your money. Don't you worry. I said, hey. Wu-Tang! Wu-Tang! Was that Ghostface Killer? <laughs> that was Did you ever run away oh, when you were little? Money. Yeah, I made I sandwiches sure. and everything. I took sure. like a big jar of pennies and I was like, "Peace out, I'm she out gone. of here." And I was back in like three seconds. <laughs> uh, what, you think this is all fluff, as your co-host needed to say? I don't know about fluff, but I, I know this: No, you should not trade Od Odell. The Warriors should not trade Draymond. The Avengers should not trade Hulk. Friends should not trade Rachel. These are your money makers. <laughs> These are the people. When you're at the bar last night, you don't trade Schrager away when he's dancing a flow ride at never. And here's the thing. Okay, I think we should say this. Here in New York, New Yorkers are in their feelings about Odell. Some of them are even on our staff. Like, they're, they're very New York. Yes. Get him out of here. He doesn't deserve to be here. Yes. I, I think he was hurt last year. How quickly we forget how good Odell is. Lest we forget the 2016 season. He's taken over the league. Look at this. And with, with what without. around him. With what around him. And All right, we're looking at it with or without. Do you remember last year the Giants offense? Do you remember them getting shut out at the end of the season by the Cardinals? Their leading receiver was Rhett Ellison. Do not do this. I understand it's a little bit of a headache, but it's something we brought up yesterday. This is not a guy who's openly feuding with his quarterback, with his coach. What are we talking about? A video right specifically right frankly I don't know how to say this Odell abroad 25 years old lying around with some lady getting freaky whatever he's doing it's kind of what I expect Odell Beckham to be doing the in the star. off season was I shocked by that video no now we shouldn't let it go public but that's why we're gonna trade the best player on our team stop it I don't love the video I understand I think the frustration from the mayor side is very real I don't think that was like let's send you know let's fluff this up or like let's send a message I think that they actually are frustrated would they actually trade him I do not believe so Peter Schrager you spoke to these coaches and these GMs what is the word out there there. Look, in a vacuum, this would never be a conversation. Odell Beckham's one of the best wide receivers in the league. We're not talking about whether he's good or not, right? Like, we're not talking about whether he's a talented player. No one talks about Antonio Brown being traded. No one talks about Julio Jones being traded. This is an individual, and it's not a vacuum. It's not fantasy football. It's not about highlights. It's not about stats. It's about the total package, and he's entering the final year of a contract. He continuously is a headache for these guys, and if they were to trade him, I would not be absolutely shocked. That said, there's no valor in saying, you know, I don't think he's going to be traded because of course not. He's one of the best players in football. Of course not. It must be an extreme situation on both ends. It must be one, they can't handle this guy anymore and they can't come to a long-term agreement and they'd rather get something than nothing. And on the other end of it, a team needs to really want Odell Beckham, bring up a board and offer a bounty of draft picks, whether that be two first-round picks, three first-round picks, a two first-round picks and a second, whatever it is. But look, Dave Gettleman is up there saying all these things, but at no point would we be even talking about whether Odell Beckham is even potentially being traded if we were doing this in a vacuum. This is a very possible thing, and whether he gets traded or not, we'll see. 
But surely this is not just any other player and they're trying to trade their best player. It's because it's the total package and the total package comes with mixed results. Nobody's talking about vacuums or, or valor. <laughs> we're not talking about whether he will. We're talking about whether he should be. They were terrible without him. He's their best player. And if he's got some sort of character things, then get control of him. You're the New York Giants. I'm not sitting here reciting stats and saying he's a good player. We know that. What I'm saying is he's their best player on the biggest team in New York, and they should keep him. That's my valor. Valor uh, that! Yeah, I mean, uh, he you can sit by the pool and catch judgment. He doesn't use a vacuum. Greg Seth Peter Trigger exactly will talk right. to you in a little bit. Now, we have to talk about those bears because they added Allen Robinson. They're giving Trubisky playmakers around him. So, what does Chicago plan to do with the 